Well, hello there, and welcome to Math 1314 College Algebra. Um, this is a summer course, so there, it's actually the first session of the summer, which is the May Master session. And a May Master session is only going to be for three weeks. So we will be working together a lot over the next three weeks. Um, if you're already here at the lecture videos, that means you must have gone through all of the orientation, so you're well aware of the requirements for this course. And of course, that orientation module will always be visible so that you can refer back to it as a resource if necessary as you go along throughout the course. Um, this first week, we have a total of 125 problems that you'll need to do. For week two, will be very similar. There's 127 problems that will need to be done. Um, and then in week three, there's actually a little bit more, which is 178, because that includes not only the third unit, but also the review for the final exam and the final exam itself. So there's a little bit more topics in week three, or a little bit more problems in week three. Now, in addition to the 25 in week one, the 127 in week two, and the 178 in week three, you also had already completed a um, skills assessment, which had 20 problems in it, okay? And so if you include everything, all the problems on that basic assessment, on all of your homework problems, all of your reviews, all of your tests, if you include everything, you're going to be completing about 450 math problems for the next three weeks, okay? And if you break that up, I believe it's 150 each week. Let's just make sure um, in three weeks, yeah, about 150 problems per week. So even though you do about 145 actually total if you include the orientation um, math problems in week one and then the 127 math problems in week two it kind of balances out with the 178 top um, problems in week three okay so keep that in mind that that's that's a lot and if you're um, taking about five minutes per problem and some people will take longer um, that's about 75 divided by 60. That's about 12.5 hours just to work on math problems each week. Okay. Then if you take into account all of the lecture videos that you're going to watch, that I would probably say each section is going to be about an hour. Some of them could be shorter and some of them could be longer. But if you take um, the five sections... R.4, R1.4, 1.6, 2.3, and 5.2. That's going to add another five hours just viewing the lectures. Plus, if you need to re-review, right, or pause and play and all of that kind of stuff while you write things down, that could add some additional time to just watching the lecture videos, okay? So we'll just cut this at an even 20. So about a time and a half to fully watch a lecture video so that you completely comprehend um, everything that's being introduced in that lecture video. Then um, if you add on, oh gosh, um, it just depends on, there's also going to be videos for within each homework section. In each homework section, there's about 20 minutes of videos. So 15 times 20 divided by 60 is probably another five hours, okay? So we're already at 20 plus those five, that's 25 hours per week. And that's if, if this stuff comes easy to you. So if math is, is your, your gem, it's the thing that you love to do and you like doing it and it's easy for you to do you can expect 
to be spending about 25 hours per week these next three weeks just on math, okay? Um, if math does not come easy to you, then you probably want to add another 15 hours per week, which means now you're talking about 40 hours per week. That's a full-time job. And taking a Maymester class really truly is a full-time job, at least for three weeks. So if you can make a lot of sacrifices and you can commit this amount of time, 25 to 40 hours per week working on your math class, then you're in the right place. But if you're already beginning to be concerned about not having enough time to spend on this class material, unfortunately, you may want to consider dropping it. I don't want anyone to set themselves up for failure. I want everyone in this class to succeed. I will do everything that I can to ensure that we all succeed uh, because your success is my success as well, right? So um, just keep that in mind that you really do need to spend 25 to 40 hours per week working on this material for this class because it is a whole 16 week worth semester of material crammed into three weeks. So we've got to go full throttle for three weeks. Now, if you're planning to take some days off, which I suggest you do, you never want to um, grind on it too hard right and for too long so if you do the 25 hours per week that's about three hours per day which is manageable right um so if i'm doing 25 hours per week and i divide it by five days in a week where oh, i'm sorry it's about five hours per day and that's quite a lot okay i mean i don't suggest anyone sit there for five hours from, you know, you get off of work at five o'clock, whatever the case may be, you wake up in the morning at nine o'clock and you just sit there for five hours straight. I don't suggest you do that. Um, I suggest you take like breaks, like watch the lectures, right? Watch the lecture videos and then take a little bit of a break. Maybe go get something to eat. Maybe just chill out and watch a, a a TV show or something or if you've got work to do get that work done but take a, a little bit of a break just so that the information can kind of sink in you can kind of dwell on it a little bit um, and then give your brain a little bit of a pause um, before you start actually going into um, the problems okay or if you're one of those that has to jump into it immediately that's fine too um, I just don't want anyone to overexert their self, um, but at the same time, we want you to um, be highly motivated and determined to knock this stuff out, okay? So if you've got to take a break every hour or so, every two hours, if not every hour, um, just make sure you do that, okay? So essentially, it could take all day just to do work for math, okay? So it is, I have kiddos of my own, and I apologize now. If you hear them in the videos in the background, I try to mute them out or I try to silence them upstairs. Um, but but I do have children. Um, and so I understand if you have small children too, it, they do break your concentration. And if you need to take a moment and deal with that, that's perfectly fine. Um, again, I, the goal is, is to get as much as you can get done without overexerting yourself, but at the same time putting enough effort and time into this course so that you can be successful okay um so this really wasn't a lecture video per se um just more of like an introduction to kind of get your minds wrapped around of um the expectation and the time limitations and the time constraints that we're going to be having um in this class okay and i wish you all the best of luck as we keep going uh, hopefully, I can explain things in a way to you that you can understand them. Um, if not, I am always willing to clarify or to re-explain in a different way um, to help you understand something. So again, in the orientation, you would have signed up for what is called the Remind app, which is a texting tool so that I can text you and you can text me and neither one of us really needs to know our phone numbers. Um, so it's just kind of a way to, to do that without 
jeopardizing confidentiality. Okay, um, so use that Remind app. Use it a lot. Don't ever worry. I do set um, time limits on it because I do sleep, right? And I do have to feed and spend time with my kids um, at some point in the day. So I do have time limits on there, but never let that um, halt you from sending me a message because you never know. I may be cooking dinner, but I may glance at my phone, right? And notice that I have a text and I might be able to answer that text right away. It's not something that I have to wait for the morning. Um, to get to okay, so definitely definitely use me as your resource um, As you go through this class the next three weeks, okay, so text me send me a picture of whatever you're working on Send me a picture of what you've done with it so far or Send me a picture or a text of a question that you might have something you're not understanding in the video and I can um, Elaborate or I can explain it in a different way, but please 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 text me um, don't ever want you to feel like you're bothering me or that you are asking too many questions or um, that I am going out of my way to do this because this is my job. My job is to make sure that you pass this class. Um, my job is to make sure that you have all of the available resources that you need. So please, if you need to, text me, okay? If you have questions about anything, text me. That would be the fastest way to get a hold of me. You can always email me, but I promise you using that remind text function is going to be the best way to get a hold of me and it's gonna be the best way that I can get a hold with you so that we have that um, immediate interaction that we need for three weeks, okay? So again, good luck to you guys. Um, the next video will actually have me working on some content, so I apologize. Um, but just keep in mind that um, I'm here for you, okay? So let's get started in the next video.